<laughs> Dude, it actually looks better in person. This is my first time seeing an FL5. Yo. What's up, yo, man? Yo, 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 yo. Dude, it's so nice, right? Good, yo. man. Oh, Yo, thank you for uh, delivering the uh, Apple Pie. I mean, it's it's an honor for. I mean, first of all, thank you Saito Song for letting me uh, trust me driving this thing, yeah. and also you guys for you know trusting me to come here. I'm sorry that we're a bit a little bit late, no worries, you know, because no because of traffic jam, it was like 20 minutes, you know. Sure, yeah, sure, I, I sure. had that excuse a few times, yeah. but. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> but yeah, thank you, thank you guys. This car is freaking amazing. Fantastic. It's. <laughs> Really? Oh Jesus Christ, it's amazing. It actually looks really good in person. It's yeah. handsome. I'm actually shocked. Okay. Yo, it's actually amazing seeing the FL5 in person. It looks, it looks really good, right? It looks really good. It looks way better than the FK FKO. Mm. I'm not gonna oh, agree. 100%. The build quality, everything. Really? Everything you touch is Yo, so nice. I wanna check out the interior. Yeah, check out the interior everything man. you Honestly. touch is so nice. Premium, right? Oh, Alcantara steering wheel too. Yeah, then the shift knob, touch it. You feel it, oh yes. Oh my god. Can I put my head in the front? Oh my god. No, go for it, go for it. I wanna spray it, I wanna spray it. Yo, it's amazing. You get all the gauges here too. Everything is looks so nice. What's the, what's the mileage? 668. Already 600. Yeah, he dropped like 700 k's already. Oh, soft limited. Yeah. <laughs> is this carbon fiber? No, oh, the, this is the oh, normal wing. Oh. The optional wing is carbon fiber. Which one? The optional wing. Optional wing. Yeah, from the, Honda. The, the modular one. Oh, yes. modular. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, sounds pretty good. Even just like low rev, it's got like a deep sound to it. Mm. I'm getting like a premium feel from it already, just driving slow. So. Even the dash looks really nice. Premium, right? Yeah. It almost looks like it's been like ECU swaps, like some Motec system. It's got like the... Yeah, it looks like a Motec, right? Yeah. It looks like it's 2000 Lamborghini bike to it, right? Right, yeah. Oh, wow, interesting sound. You think that's a uh, fake sound or it's real? How do you like it, Jake? The biggest surprise to me is the sound. Like, I don't even know if it's real, if it's... Uh, like, you know, the 86, for example, has like the sort of fake sounds like through the speaker. It's a really interesting sound in this car. Yeah, so far I really like it. When I drove the FK8, I found like there was a bit too much kind of struggle to put down the power and maintain the steering. Yeah. But this car, I feel like it's got a better balance. You're able to put the power down like, and not lose the steering. It's like um, how FKA should be like mm. improved FKA. That's all it is, is right? Like it's well built. The front's actually, I think the suspension's a little bit Dope. <laughs> you know what, Jake? What's that? Last time I driven you with the uh, um, Skyline, mm. this is far more manageable for me. <laughs> <laughs> like last yeah. time, it's like uh, this is just bad shit scary. That Skyline was crazy, man. <laughs> this is fun. This is way more fun than the FK8 because the it F is right. FK8, I feel like it was trying to put out. A lot of power, but it just wasn't managing it well it in my sliding, eyes. The sliding is like this one's like feels like it's got an appropriate amount of power. It's more than the FK8, I'm pretty sure, but it's, yeah, it's like 10 horsepower more. It's doing it just better. And um, the gear ratio has been changed as mm. well. That's awesome. Nice. Nice. B big tick. This car, big tick. Mm. I really love this car, man. Not kidding. Yo, 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 yo.
Good morning, everybody. So uh, today is the day that we work on the FL5, and um, really interesting uh, thing that we came back is we see Elbow sniffing over here, <laughs> and then he actually got his tent on on the four side. And it's actually crazy because um, I was talking with them, and then they're saying like, "Oh, it's such a good experience." Because Elbow actually worked on his uh, S2K until six in the morning, right? Yeah, six. In the yeah, morning, six so. in the morning, and then Indra was here too, and then Yushi was here. Everybody was just here. Yushi was playing uh, Pokemon too. And we were, then, we were just chilling, yeah, chatting, just chilling here, also chatting. My car. It was exactly. Honestly, amazing. Experience. Yes, yes, yes. It, it was like really like warm and you know like when you walk in the shop, you see like all your friends here already, yeah. and then it's like you know so welcoming and stuff. So it's amazing. So uh, yeah, I. Thanks for letting us do this. Yeah, no worries, man. Me and Jake really think that you know opening this shop is not just for us. It's not just as a business. It's actually, as you know, a place for car people and our boys to hang out. So. Amazing. Thank you guys for coming. So if you're homeless, Shogun is the place to be. Oh yeah, wait, wait. Oh you take that. Oh. What the All right, uh, we, we just turned up to a -Pit now. We got the boys with us. Uh, they actually stayed over in Shogun last night. So uh, not even we've done that. And uh, now we're gonna have like uh, breakfast together in a -Pit, which is the closest and biggest autobacks to us. And they have Starbucks inside, so that's our plan. So come check it out. Kawaii na. <laughs> <laughs> Here we've got the uh, model. This is a 1 to 43 scale NSX. Here's what it looks like. Only 3,000 yen? Really? What the? Boxy comes and just leave in the box. Yeah, well, cool. these ones have the windows, so it's pretty dope. So next to me here we have the FL5, the new uh, Civic Type R from Honda. Uh, this might be the first time you see a coding video on this car because uh, no one really has these yet. So we're very fortunate to have our hands on this early. Uh, big thank you to the boys at Omaren, uh, Massa and Albo for joining us last night and uh, looking forward to getting hands on with this for the first time. We had a little drive yesterday um, and now we're going to go and just get this thing coated with uh, G-Technic and uh, made nice and shiny again. And, nice and protected for when they go ahead and use this car as a rental. So let's uh, cut to some cinematics. So people might be wondering, why do you need to polish a car when it's brand new, straight from the dealership? You'd think that it's in perfect condition. But actually, when you get a car from the dealership, even from the pre-delivery care, they can often put small scratches into the car. And we've noticed here with the Civic, there's some spots, especially in the black areas, that show these scratches. So generally you get a car in like a 95% perfect condition from the dealership. But before you coat it or before you PPF it, people want it to be 100% because it's going to be protected in its uh, best condition. So here you can see us uh, polishing the rear wing on the Civic and just taking out the fine details of scratches, getting it back to 100% before we put the coating on. And people with, you know, a strict eye and an eye for detail, they'll notice this, this type of thing and it really shows up on dark spots like the wing here. So um, yeah, much looking much better now.
Hey guys, the FL5 is almost finished now. We've done the base coat, Crystal Serum Light, and uh, now the hydrophobic layer is just getting finished off. So car's looking uh, way glossier, really captivating the whole new car look to it and uh, looking forward to seeing it out under the sun because it's really gonna have the full impact there. It's come out really nice. We use the Crystal Serum Light because we found for the JDM cars, light seems to be the best for the uh, style of paint, the style of clear coat that they have. Uh, with the exception of Toyota, that one works well for the full-on Ultra. So yeah, check it out under the sun in the cinematic coming up. So good morning everybody, today is the third day that we have the FL5, we just did the coating yesterday and then right now it's all cured up and uh, it's, yeah, as I said, it's 11.30. We're going to take the car out to experience the city drive of the FL5. Elbow is going to shoot his part of the video, I'm going to shoot him and then uh, our cameraman is going to shoot us basically. YouTube, what? YouTube reception. YouTube reception, let's go. So that's the plan for today. Uh, we'll head back after lunch basically. So yeah, enjoy the city drive videos. I love this car. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> So uh, as you guys can see right now we're at Odaiba which is like a really famous uh, tourist spot and we got the FL5 in the background. Uh, Elbow is driving that car and then we're doing some photo shoot in uh, Odaiba. Here is the Hilton Hotel. It's a little bit old. I think they built it like 20 years ago or something. And then on the left side it's actually amazing. We got the whole um, rainbow bridge view. So. This is a really good spot for uh, taking pictures, so that's why we picked this spot and then uh, we're going to shoot some uh, photo shoot for the FL5. Jackie and we're gonna have lunch here at the Hilton and so we're gonna have the cars parked downstairs uh, but it's really cool to see you know we're here at the fancy Hilton and I feel like this car these cars really suit this place like this car doesn't feel out of place here it just looks really really elegant it doesn't right? look like a you know typical JDM yeah stereotype yeah. right JDM doesn't suit a hotel blah yeah. blah blah but honestly I really think this car park in the Hilton lobby there's no nothing like good. special right it looks, yeah, good. looks good let's go downstairs let's, let's go, go. Uh, let's go park downstairs and we'll go eat yeah. So it's um, cheese and egg salad sandwich. 
that's a wrap for the FL5. You probably wonder like, oh, how come Jake is not here in the video today? He went to uh, Suzuka for his last um, final round for uh, Super Taikyu. So wish him best of luck. If you guys are planning to visit Japan, uh, planning to rent out one of uh, Omoshiro Rental Car's rental car, please click the link down in the description and uh, really appreciate Omoshiro Rental Car sending us this amazing FL5 for us to detail, for us to code it. It's a really amazing experience. We also get to drive it. We just couldn't express like how much we love this car and uh, really appreciate Omoshiro Rental Cars. One more time, really appreciate uh, Saito-san for the experience. Thank you.